Right, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I'm in Ilford Lane now and the time is 10.28 in the evening to be provised. I've come to see, because I've been told Ilford Lane is completely chock-a-block with people waiting to get their 50% discount on their eat out, to, eat out to help out scheme. Now I'm outside Manjaro's here. Unfortunately it's a bit dark. Can't see. But hopefully when I move forward you'll be able to see the queue is just huge. There is no social distancing whatsoever. Nobody wearing masks. I can't believe it. People are standing outside the restaurant waiting to get in and they're not even wearing masks. And look, where's the one meter distance? There's no one meter distance. No distancing. Look at the long queue here. This is Manjaro's. Huge queue here. Milford Lane, huge queues going literally five or six, seven, eight shops down the road from their shop. Crazy, absolutely crazy. I couldn't even see anything inside the restaurant because it's so jam packed with people. I'm absolutely sure there is no one meter distancing in the tables. Crazy. This is Watan, a new Pakistani restaurant that opened up just before uh, the lockdown and the coronavirus. They they did it up really nicely. They really made the place look nice. They didn't get a chance to eat it because the coronavirus kicked in and the COVID kicked in. But look at it tonight. Absolutely packed. No social distancing. No masks nothing people just careless really what else can you say look families adults children look inside the restaurant there's no no space between the tables between the tables whatsoever it's completely jam-packed no social distancing in the tables oh, i don't know what these people thinking we got here okay looks like there's a few takeaways here so we've seen two already to the biggest ones manjaros and watan and like i said they are just absolutely packed inside they're sitting like sardines inside and they're standing like dominoes without any distancing whatsoever without any face masks whatsoever in the restaurant I don't understand why the owners don't follow the guidelines, the government rules, very clear. But more importantly, I can't understand why the public who have come here with elderly people, teenagers, even young children who wouldn't know any better, how can they expose them to huge crowds of people that come from God knows where without wearing any masks at all and not maintaining a one meter social distance. Usually in Ilford Lane, you get a lot of uh, community police officers and normal police kind of patrolling. The streets. You, I've always seen police patrolling the streets, but today I haven't seen one yet. Because surely they should be maintaining the distancing. Uh, this is salamis. Uh, salamis is also a new Turkish place that hasn't been open for a long time and it's always empty. But today it is chock a block with people. It's absolutely chock a block. This is one of my favorite joints, Franzos. Franzos, let's see how much of a queue they have at the moment. Too much of a line back then again. It is now 10:35 in the evening. Okay, so that's it. I'll, I think I need to come out a bit earlier on tomorrow, just to see what I like around sort of like eight o'clock, nine o'clock when it's the main eating time. But at the moment, like I said, actually there's one more here, Bims, 
which is usually a takeaway, but I heard they put the seats in. I don't know where, because there's not much space, but let's have a quick look at these. Oh my god, look at that. I can tell you definitely there is, there is no social distancing in those tables. Okay, take care, look after yourselves. Don't forget, wear a mask, wash your hands with soap, use sanitizer, and most importantly, at least one meter distance between people that you don't know. Checking out Ilford Lane, August the 10th, 2020.